know what this case is about. Um, it's weird. But this is a scanner page, and it's super sketch. But they're saying that Chrissy Boyd is a volunteer, I guess. And the only informa the information was confirmed to be true when they spoke to Elio's and our direct com communication with the family. And then it says where Sarah was last seen and a suicide note was left. The past five years has been struggles with mental health. Cameras confirmed that she left in a black tank top and dark shorts. She had her cell phone. It pinged in the area of the search. And then they say, um, I know the information is hard for some to see, like her friends and family from Illinois. And there has been a lot of backlash for posting with sensitive information, but the intentions are not coming from a negative place. The community is just trying to find her. I don't, I, I've not been able to find out exactly what it seems like. Someone heard it on a scanner and then some volunteer search party went out. JLR went out and it, it's a mystery. I, I'd have to look more into it, but this is what happened today. On day one, JLR basically walked down sidewalks, clear trails, although there was an organized search where she was last seen. Andy finds this item. What is this? What is this? Why is this left here? What is this? What is this? This is strange. Why is this left here? A baseball. This was just left here. Well, this was in a, a, a jar. And it was just left here. And day two, he, for some reason, was more prepared. And he searched alone. But this time, he actually entered the wooded area and um, actually searched for, like, maybe... Almost an hour. JLR investigates out back out on the scene in Riverview. Putting sun tan lotion, sport sun tan lotion. We're gonna look for a missing 38 year old Sarah Dryer. I'm at a different. And in the backpack, I got waters, phone chargers. Um, so on the, I'm going to go back towards the dam part. I want to, I want to start somewhere different. So, so they are volunteers. They got a tent set up. They said people are that way. Um, but I got a message. I don't know. Maybe it's something different. Can someone go on, um, the Facebook page of Sarah Dreyer, uh, there they've been making posts on there saying uh, about the search and whatnot, and see if there's any updates. Just want to make sure. My best guess is after day one, JLR started asking neighbors questions, and it's likely he even probably knocked on the family's front door. This was written on the family Facebook page. There have been a few YouTubers coming by the house and trying to speak to the family. While we appreciate the platform and believe it is being used to help spread the word to help bring Sarah home, please respect the family's privacy. Don't film them or request to speak to them. This situation is unimaginable and they deserve to feel safe on their property. Additionally, if anyone who is out there is approached by a YouTuber Please remember, the information you may have should only be shared with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department. Thank you all. Let's work together to bring Sarah home. Then along came Betty, and Betty decided to reply to that Facebook um, comment. Bullhorn Betty replied, I'd like to first say that I'm sorry for what your family is going through. It also sounds like someone has provided you horrible information about the YouTuber out helping and most of these people we call them trolls and cockroaches. Yeah, I'm sure that went right over their head. We will make sure your case won't be covered on YouTube or other social media 
and we'll make sure every social media personality knows to stay away from this case. Clearly, mainstream media isn't helping, isn't help because I can barely find an article. My friend, a YouTuber, was out in the woods, she's talking about JLR, was out in the woods searching for your loved one for two days in this heat. I was out searching for JJ Rowland, I believe she spelled his name wrong, and he was found. I'm a world famous YouTuber, just like the one helping. I'm sure your message hurt his feelings and his heartfelt efforts to help. I was going to join the efforts as well, but we'll refrain from doing so. I do hope you see the how this statement isn't helpful and will only hinder any help you may need in the future. I wish you the best, but my voice will tell all social media to stay clear from discussing or participating in this matter moving forward. Insulting people trying to help is sad, and I'll pray for you and your family. God bless, and I hope your family member is found. That YouTuber you insulted has helped locate, it, has helped locate two missing people in the last year and a half. Just FYI. Okay, Betty. Please name the two people he helped find. There's not a single person JLR has helped find. Also, you do not get to tell families that we as a true crime community will stop searching for their family just because they ask that we not violate their privacy. That's all they ask. They didn't say, we don't want you searching. We don't like the way you search. Nothing like that. They just didn't want us to violate their privacy. But for you and JLR, oh, game over. If you can't violate their privacy, you're not going to help. Well, guess what, little girl? You don't help anyway. You don't do shit. And you think you're world famous? You're not world famous. You're in your head famous. You're a legacy in your own mind. You need to pack your shit and leave this community. First, you want to euthanize children. Now... You're telling the parent of missing children to fuck off because you're not going to let us ask questions. You're not an investigator. Andra, Griffin, you're born, Betty, in your head. It means nothing. You had a born at Brian Laundry's house making an ass of yourself. No, I see no praise for you. Not one single article praised you. Not one Court TV hasn't asked you on. They've asked everybody else but you. What makes you think you're famous? You're not. You have a bullhorn and you're a mean. That's what you are. You're just simply a mean. Unbelievable you would write this shit. One YouTuber that came by, I was on the live, walked up from walking through jungle-like marsh for two hours today, hunting your loved one, and just wanted to give anyone the opportunity to say what you needed. Because we have heard nothing, and no one knows where to search next. He literally had a gator cross his path yesterday, searching. Maybe watch what they are doing for your family before you judge all of them. Dude, is that an alligator right there? Right as day. Thank you. That is an alligator right there. Just sitting there. All right, I'm going to kind of go along. So her kids go to school right there? No, they go to school very far away. Um, and did she have her phone on her? She was carrying her phone, but the phone was turned off around the same time that she was on Twitter. More. You go straight, and you see that tent down there. You go straight into the preserve. 
where they're searching in there or you go right this way where I came from. So Yeah, the yesterday I had the coordinates wrong. I started out on the northern end. So Dunnymore goes this way and then it ends right there and then it, on the other side is when Dunnymore starts up again. And that's where I started from because somebody put a flyer out with the wrong address. So I actually, yesterday where I started was the wrong address. But it was still on. There's a beautiful walking trail and under normal circumstances. Hi, I have a question um, for you. Like there's certain media circulating right now that there has been a body found burned in Ruskin. Have you heard anything about that? No. That's any connection? No, I, doubt I, I doubt it too, but people, people are asking like, does the family know anything about a body? Did you hear about it? I do. You're telling me for the first time. Yeah. I will relay that to the, I mean, I will look that up. I don't think it has anything to do with this. There's I don't either. There's no foul play. There's no crime. There's no serial killer in here. There's, yeah. You know, it's just mental illness. So. You, oh, it's mental illness, you think? I think so. Yeah, that's, that's what, I mean, uh, are you, who are you? You know the family? Oh, I, I'm on YouTube. Oh, what's your name? Too, on when evil entered. When evil entered. I oh, was well. trying to tell you yesterday. That you mind if I got you on camera? You don't. No. no? I don't. Okay. So you're a YouTube channel. Yes. Okay. What's your name? Your channel? When evil entered. Are you from here? Yeah. You are artificial and disgusting. Going to die, and I don't have to do anything. I'm just gonna watch and smile as it happens.